What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Hubert, North Carolina, standing inside of an absolutely beautiful kitchen here at Future Home. So let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. This is the Madison. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,040 square foot ranch style home. Stunning. Uh, definitely, I think you guys are really gonna like this layout. You have this really nice brick foundation uh, you have a little crawl space up underneath of it. Nice, dark, I don't even, almost like a charcoal green or maybe a deep forest green as far as the siding. And then up top you have this nice kind of gray beige um, board and batten siding. I guess that's the color. Maybe like a khaki color. And then, But you do have really nice uh, white frame windows right here too, which really uh, definitely stand out against the nice dark siding. And then you do have a big porch area up here as well. Now, future homes, they do uh, customize modular homes, so you name it, they can do it. They have a whole bunch of different floor plans, um, and then you can get in there and shift some walls around and stuff if you wanted to. As far as porches, they can also um, attach porches for you on site. Some of these uh, porches do come with the home, but if you wanted some extra ones, you know what I mean? Uh, they could definitely do that for you as well. And then coming around to the side of this home, you do have side door right here. Maybe lead into a future garage as if that was something that you were into. And then as we come around to the back of this home, you have a whole bunch of windows back here. And then you have a nice sliding glass door, which actually comes out of your living room in this home. And then coming around to the other side, you do have one more window, but I think that that brick looks really good. Of course, you can, you know, they have like cement block look, like a gray foundation, uh, all different types of things. I think the brick looks really good though. And coming up onto the porch, I didn't even notice this. You do have the board and batten right here around the entrance. And then the porch kind of wraps around as well. So again, another nice little hangout spot for those beautiful summer days. And then you have some lamps on either side. And then as you enter the home, this is what you were greeted with. You do have an actual foyer right here, which is nice. I'll go ahead and turn you around and let you do that. So this is your front door. Beautiful crown molding going throughout this home. And then next to that, like as soon as you come in, you have a coat closet right here. And into your living room. Look, no kitchen in sight. There is one, don't you worry. But this is one of those nice, it's an open floor concept, but something a little different that we haven't seen. So beautiful coffered ceilings here in the living room. And then again, you have that nice sliding glass door with huge windows. They're not quite floor to ceiling, but they do go all the way down to the floor, which is spectacular. And then you have this great big gas fireplace right here. And then an enormous amount of space for your TV. So it gets you into this back corner over here. And now you can catch a glimpse of your kitchen. So I'm interested to know, uh, what you think about this plan, as always, this one probably more so than most. Actually, I love this one, it looks really good. So next to the living room, you do have your dining room space. Again, to our left right here, we do have some nice windows. And then again, if you wanted to put some, like a nice hutch or something back here to kind of showcase some of your finer, eating ware, you can definitely do that. And in this kitchen, 
Beautiful. I don't know why I'm showing you this part, but you know, I like the cutout. I think that looks good. Now you have this great big island and you have seating on either side of it. So perfect kind of breakfast uh, eating space. You have the nice pendant lights over the top of it. Beautiful color. And they went with kind of a, a darker brown here. It almost looked like a little bit different color than the main ones, but I think they're all the same color. And then coming around to the side of the island, really wide island, you know what I mean? And then on this side, again, more space for some seats. A couple drawers on either side, and then also some cabinets. And then up underneath of the island, you have these nice legs right there. I think they look pretty cool. And then getting into the main surfaces, you have your refrigerator right here, and then plenty of cabinets on this side. Again, not quite going all the way up to the ceiling. More beautiful countertops, glass tile backsplash right here, almost like a sea foam green color. And then you have your dishwasher gorgeous sink i love this kind of apron on the front of this one most of them are flat but this one kind of comes straight down and then angles in a little bit i think that's pretty sharp looking and then two compartments looking out of these two great big windows right here and then continuing around i mean this is a huge kitchen plenty of counter space in here even more cabinets you have your stove and your microwave nice wood adjustable shelves and then you have these really big cabinets right here one on the bottom and then one on top so really nice kitchen <laughs> when i walked in here i was kind of tickled by it now i haven't shown off the floors either you have some Really pretty vinyl plank floors in here also. Now again, like I said, uh, this home can be customized. So if you wanna swap out the floors or the countertops or the cabinets, I mean, even the walls, the interior walls, uh, definitely something you can do. Coming into the first full bathroom, single vanity right there, your toilet, and then you have a shower and tub combo kind of unique looking tile down here also. And then we're gonna continue working down the hallway. Next to the bathroom, you have a linen closet right here. And then back behind us, you have the two smaller bedrooms. Go ahead and go into this one first. Here you do transition into carpet. But nice big windows in here, great big room. And then again, you have a step-in closet in here. This one just kind of keeps on going. And then into the second bedroom, again, still at the front of the house. And this one's empty to give you a little bit of an idea. It's pretty much the same size as the one that we were just in, I believe. And then the closet in here also. And then you have your side door that we saw on the outside. Up above us, you do have access to the attic. I like it when they put it kind of out of the way. I've seen it in closets and all types of stuff, so. And then you have this nice built-in right here. You got an outlet in each one of these cubby holes. So that's cool. That's nice, because then I can Instead of leaving like my camera gear, we don't have anything like that. So I have to either charge it on the table or the counters or something. It'd be nice to, Jen would probably appreciate it if it was out of the way. And then coming into your utility room, look at all the counter space in here. Maybe even, I mean, you could turn this into kind of a little back office if you wanted to, but plenty of cabinets. And then back behind us, you have your wash basin 
and then washer and dryer hookups. Pretty cool. And then back across the house on the other side of the living room, you come to the master suite. Again, more big, beautiful windows in here. I love the decor. Future Homes is another one of those places that does a really nice job decorating the homes. Which is always nice. You know, I, I do tour homes, and I'm sure y'all have seen a lot of them that don't have any decorations, but it just makes it more fun when they do have the decorations. So coming into the ensuite, big, beautiful soaking tub right here. And then on the opposite side, you have double vanities with your vanity lights, more linen cabinets. And then you have your toilet right here to your right. And then a great big walk-in shower. You got a rainfall shower head right there. Nice bench, beautiful tile surround, kind of like a almost mossy green color in there. I think that's cool. And then next to that, you do have your walk-in closet. Immediately, you can see the bench. And then this thing just kind of wraps all the way around. So let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or future homes, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. If you want to check out another beautiful modular home tour, go ahead and click on this video right here. And as always, guys, have a fantastic day. My name is Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.